Hello and welcome to Infinity. In the last video we looked at groups and this is where we got to. In this video we're going to look at another way of creating groups which is as child layers. So if we open up the foreground here we can see that uh, this is this foreground here we, as opposed to the sky back there which is the top layer and we had the background and a couple of adjustments in this. If we go to this one, right click on it and go to ungroup, we've got the three layers just at the top level. But we can also, instead of grouping them, we can drag them into one another. So effectively it's an automatic group. So if I take the, um, let's take the levels first. If I drag that down onto the background, if I drag it onto the name, then you can see there's a blue rectangle underneath there. Yeah. If I go further down, it goes all the way across. If I go a little bit up into the name, it goes part the way across. So if I let go there, it manages to close the group again. But now the pixel layer is effectively the same as the group layer. If I open this top one, you can see you've got a separate group layer, a, an adjustment and a pixel layer. Now here, we've got the pixel layer as the group and then the other one. So I can take the curves layer here and drag that in as well. So see that's uh, under there or I could put it here. See I can put it above there or under here. Yeah. So there actually notice the way it's gone inwards a bit. We don't want that. We want it to be at the same level. So there we go. And the order, as always, the order of these things counts. So we could do the same with this one. Right click, ungroup. Now, of course, we've got the curves affecting everything below. But I want to drag that down onto, so it's a sub layer. Notice the way it changes here. So being up there and applying to everything. Now it's as a child position here and it automatically closes the group which is a bit annoying but there we go and it is now sort of a sub layer to this so that when I close it up it is still there and I open up there it is and so I've now changed the way these act another thing worth noting there is another child layer there's two types of child layers there's a mask layer and a clip layer these are called clip layers the mask layer is if I go up to here and go over the image as opposed to over the name you can see there's a little blue vertical line there uh, and you get the same sort of thing happening here but it's actually a little bit closer and a little bit indented further this is intended for use for masking and a in a particular type of use but a lot of the time it actually has no effect apart from the fact that the sequence is uh, is different uh, I cover this in another video. But by and large, what I try to do, if I'm dragging things around the place, it's usually a bit easier to go over the name because you can see a nice long rectangle and put it there. So let's um, I'll close that up. I'll just leave that one as it is, but I'm going to change this here. I'm going to actually delete those off because I can put them in. But what I'm going to do now is if I go to the assistant up here and this, these three here control how the layers are put in, whether they're put in above at the top level or they're put in as a child layer. See, this says adding adjustment layer, add adjustment as new layer. Now what I want to do is to go down and say add adjustment as child layer. So now when I go up here and add levels, it's going in at the level here. In fact, it comes in at that closer clipping level, but it's OK. So now I can do the same sort of things I had before. Just bring the black up a little bit here and then I'll that down a little bit. OK. Then to add a new one, I need to select the uh, the pixel layer. It'll often select the other layers as well, but as long as the pixel layer is selected, that's OK. So I clip here, click here and curves and now see curves have gone underneath. So this is kind of reversed. It goes the levels first and then the curves 
as opposed to when it's on, on top, when it's the sort of a vertical, uh, the other way around. So the curves, now I can brighten this right up. I had a fairly bright thing like that, and then just a little bit darkened down here. And that has the same effect as before, but now I've got a slightly shorter one. I haven't got a, a group layer on top. Okay, so those are child layers. This one's in here. This is the clip is the um, clip layer, and these are sort of mask layers. They're called different names, but they're both the child layers. And just note which happens first. If you've got any confusion, drag them around and see what happens. Okay, that's it. Hope you liked that one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.